signs that you are thinking of, somebody that you're thinking of, please use this reading to manifest a love that you are worthy and deserving of, or to confirm a love that has come into your life. So welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that is new. I'm so grateful that spirit has guided you here. Let's see what these cards are saying for you today. And see what spirit wants you to know. Spirit, I ask you to guide me. I am listening for you now. What is it that you need me to know? What is it that you want me to hear? Let's see what we have, everybody. I have release. Okay, so release. Once you let go, you can embrace with open arms. We talk about releasing all the time. Sometimes we don't even realize that there's stuff still inside of us. And so we just, when it comes up into our lives, I guess we just say, you know what? I got to walk away from this. I can't hold on to this anymore. And just keep, even if it's the same thing, sometimes it's the same thing over and over again. And the only way to relieve it is ask spirit to relieve it for you. Just say, please release these thoughts. You know, I keep thinking about the same person over and over again. Please help me move on, you know, something along those lines. So it's hard. It's, it's an effort. Absolutely. I have a magic moment. Don't wait to be full, filled with love for it is always in the now. Boy, they, they're talking my language, right? Releasing, <laughs> staying in the present, you know, the, the, what's, uh, what's right in front of you. Don't focus on the past. Don't project into the future. The, the magic is in the present. So let's get one more of these. A soul journey. How pretty. As you climb the mountain, you see beyond the clouds. That's the truth. As you are growing, as you're growing spiritually, emotionally, you just come into yourself. I guess I want to say it that way. And you know what you like. You know what you want. It doesn't mean you're selfish. It doesn't mean that you are demanding. Um, you're more self-aware, Spirit just said. And that takes growth. That takes um, courage. And right now, Spirit's kind of showing you that that is a process, okay? Um, and we're always trying to, you know, be better, I guess. I want to say it that way. We're always trying to be better and work harder at ourselves. Spirit, please share with me what is it that you have for us today? I have a temptation. Okay, there's my devil. Okay, all right. <laughs> We're starting out with temptation. Okay. We'll get some clarifying um, energy on that in a moment. I have a king of fire, king of wands. I have a four pentacles. Okay. And let's get one more. I have the sun. Okay. So I have somebody's energy that is coming in and it could come in. It's coming into me as it feels a little taboo. Okay. Not in the sense that you're doing anything wrong, but it could be a player energy. It could be very, um, this person was very seductive and you were very turned on by this person. So there's a little bit of a feeling of, I want to get some clarification. Let me just grab a different deck because I, I do want to clarify that, um, that devil card for a second. But how it's coming into me is, I'm going to say seduction. I'm going to say this person turns you on and there's something about this person and you're worried that this is just a sexual or sensual relationship, a physical relationship. Clarification on my devil, please, spirit. Queen of Wands. Okay, Queen of Wands. And I have a Five of Cups. I don't want to be disappointed. One more, please, spirit. Four of Cups. So I'm guarding myself, and, and for probably the good reason, right? We don't want to jump into that relationship that's just casual. We don't want to jump into that relationship that you know isn't going to go anywhere. Um, but at times, relationships start out as very physical. We're very turned on by each other. There's great chemistry. So there's nothing wrong with that either. But they're saying be careful, um, kind of what is this person's intention is how it's coming into me. So you want to be very aware what this person's intention is. 
a six of fire, six of wands, six of pentacles. Okay, so there has to be this feeling of, I'm going to use positive energy, okay, that we both want the same thing. Okay, if we both are attracted to each other physically and it's fast moving and we both want the same thing, then that's great. But this person is going to capture you. This person is very good at seduction. Okay, they might be very um, attractive, they may be very smooth, <laughs> they may say the right things. Um, so this person, I feel like, is somebody that is going to try to seduce you. I have an eagle, a challenge. You're a challenge. I like that. Maybe they can't get you into bed. <laughs> Maybe they're having a hard time getting you into bed. There you go. New hope, positive, proud. Okay, so you're a challenge. You're not giving in. You know, it's the player who says all the same lines and they always work. It's the person who has no problem picking somebody up. It's the person who is used to people being attracted to them. But you may get their number. You may be smarter than that. And maybe you're a challenge to them that I'm not interested in just a hookup. I'm not interested in a one night stand. That's not going to work for me. And you just caught them off uh, um, by surprise, Spirit just said. So we fall in love with somebody who's different than everybody else, who challenges us, who pushes us, who is um, our equal. Okay, if somebody says yes to everything you want um, and never pushes back, that you know, that's not that much fun. So let's see where we're going. An archer. Look at this. This person has their eye on you. I feel like they're trying to capture you. And I feel like it's not that easy. Like you're not that easy. Okay. Uh, good for you. Stand your ground. Have boundaries. Um, self, self worth, self esteem. Okay. Like, I'm just not going there with you. The least you can do is take me out, you know, <laughs> like you're going to have to take me out quite a few times, you know, before we're physical. So something like that, I have be gentle, the elephant, be wise, trustworthy, the number 13, the number 19, the number one, I have a coffin. I have a death. You could say no to this person or this type. You know, I know your type. I'm not interested in being picked up. I'm not interested in, you know, the hookup. So um, I feel like spirits is reminding you of, I guess, equal energy. You want to be challenged. They want to be challenged. Let's stay with that for a minute. I just want to see what some of the feelings are. Um, I'm awakening, okay? You may be somebody who pushes them to realize that there's more to a relationship, that they want to get to know you. Spirit just used the word bond, B-O-N-D with me, that they want to bond with somebody. Maybe that's something they haven't been putting effort into is, is an emotional experience. Everything's always been a physical connection. That's not cool. This is a new love. New love. It's not somebody that's been in your past. Marry me. I feel like that's a joke. I feel like it's somebody who's very charming, very seductive, and they've got those one-line zingers that say, you know what, you're somebody I would marry. Like, you're the person I've been looking for. And, and it just kind of, you know, like sweeps you away. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like that is almost like a a line. <laughs> Not to say that you wouldn't end up with this person, but I feel like it's just kind of a casual thing in, in the beginning, something like that. Um, it is definitely somebody new. So they're making they're making you know that this is somebody new. Uh, they're preparing you. They they just said to me, they're preparing you for, I guess, to be swept off your feet and to think clearly and to be making good judgments. 
about a particular person. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, let's see. I have control. You're always in control, okay? That you always have the right to say no. You always have the right to make decisions for yourself and your own body and your who you allow into your life. So just remember that always. That's 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 important. I have a runner. I think this is a player runner. I really do. And I guess that I would be concerned. And maybe you've come across this person. <laughs> if you've come across the runner, let me know. If you've come across the the person who's just looking for the physical. And you had to put on, you know, you had to stop, you had to put your brakes on um, because you just kind of read them. You said, you know, I know you only want one thing, then good for you. Good for you. So spirit is kind of, you know, either saving you from this kind of energy or saying, be smart, make good choices. Divine timing. You guys know I love divine timing. Um, I don't know if a reading goes by without spirit sharing with me or reminding me of divine timing. So if the wrong one has come into your life or has is start trying to cross your path, you don't say to yourself, it's better than nothing. You say to yourself, the right one hasn't come along. Okay. Because you're better off waiting, then you are involving yourself with a runner, chaos, crazy, somebody whose intentions aren't pure. I think spirits is reminding you today of how worthy you are. Look at the blessings to move ahead. You're protected. You're protected by your angels. How beautiful. So sometimes, whoop, look at this, bottom of my deck. Bottom of my deck is a union. I have an eternal love with a, I want to put this with the divine timing, okay? And I, I want to just say that I guess your time has come. It's worth the wait. It will be here, Spirit just said. So, Push away that devil. Easier said than done, Spirit said. <laughs> they know They know that sometimes those temptations are right in front of you. And uh, this person's saying really great things to you. So you want to make sure that it's not just to, you know, have a casual relationship and then they're going to take off. That, that's not going to work. So let's see what else they're saying. Spirit, please share with me. I have King of Area, which is my King of Pentacles. Your plans are working out very well and successful. So my King of Pentacles is stable. We know that. These are Archangel cards, so um, Ariel. So that's stability, whether it's stability within yourself, it's stability within this person. And Spirit just said you want more. You deserve more. So you deserve that st stability. You deserve to build a foundation with somebody. You deserve to build a life with somebody. And sometimes we have to, you know, for, for all the higher power that we talk about, God, Spirit, angels, there's a lower power. We know that and it attacks us. And I don't talk about it that often because I don't want to, but it attacks us and it tries to break us and it tries to, I guess, um, twist our minds sometimes in a sense that we're making wrong choices that we wouldn't make otherwise. So look at it as a, an attack, a psychic attack sometimes. And you are stronger spiritually, all of you, if you're watching this, I know you're stronger spiritually, to identify when something isn't right for you. And you're able to say no. You're able to say no. Good. 
um, Knight of Ariel. So here's my pentacles moving on the way, putting in the time, trust. Trusting somebody. And um, we could trust this person. This could be a player, um, but you have challenged them and you have made them think about maybe they don't want to be a player anymore. Maybe, although, you know, of course, it's the once a player, always a player. Um, somebody's going to post that, I know. And but you've got to trust them no matter what. That's important. Let's get this one that's like flipping over. A Knight of Gabriel. So Gabriel's my wands. Confidence, time to take action, great passion. And it says charismatic. There's my charisma that I felt earlier. There's my Knight of Wands and that charm and saying the right things, doing the right things. But Spirit says you've got their number. You know where they're coming from. You know that's all they want. You know that it's not going to go any further. So what do you do with it? What do you do with that person? You have to decide, do I push this person away or do I ask them to, you know, they've got to spend a lot of time with you. <laughs> like I said, they're not getting lucky um, the first night you go out. They're not. So that's kind of what's going on. Um, just a reminder, not everybody's worthy of you today, I think is, is what I want to share. And let's see, you are my true happiness. Spirit wants you to be with somebody that makes you happy. Spirit wants you to be with somebody you can trust. You can build that, um, that house with. You can grow with. I've fallen deeply in love with you. Spirit wants you to have the emotional connection. Spirit, uh, physical connections are great. Don't get me wrong. But you want that emotional. You want that spiritual connection. You want respect, Spirit just said. So if somebody isn't respecting you, then move on, move on. And I will reach out soon. So this person may be very close to crossing your path or it has crossed your path already. I know that a lot of you listening know this type of energy that I'm speaking of. You've experienced it. You, you've seen it, been there, done that. And you have grown and you're not there today. And I think that that's what Spirit wanted to remind you of. These readings are designed to prove to you over and over again in a thousand different ways that you are worth more, that you are deserving of everything that you want and that Spirit has your back. So just for today, <laughs> if we've got a player, if we've got a runner, I'm going to say run. <laughs> run from the runner. Okay. And sometimes that's hard to do, but it could be the smartest decision of your life. So we're going to put this out into the universe. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. I want to thank you all for being here. I'm so grateful. Hit that heart, comment below, join my channel. I hope you enjoy these readings daily and I hope they're helping you. If anyone would like to book a private reading, I will put my website link below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you all soon.